Okay, so some people want some siege, so I'm gonna give them some siege. I don't think we're uh, giving off too many secrets or anything like that at the moment. Um, so we're playing Sweet Walkers. Uh, we're gonna be taking their American Dad, Addicted, and Rich Islands. Um, <clears throat> not too difficult of a go. What 60%? We'll definitely get 60%. Um, and just maximize uh wins from there i don't think uh, by bypassing that 12 wins on addicted i don't think going for four islands would really be great i think we can win handily on win ratio so we went for the three islands win ratio to be safe no need to try to get ahead of ourselves and go for four islands um they didn't give us a good option for that uh so good defense so far what we're seeing um, they're attacking King of the Hill first, uh, which may give them some difficulties getting three islands. Um, people tend to see that large island is the weak island. Well, you know, uh, it might just be a weak show and not weak decks. So, uh, so far, 60%. So, uh, I'm on my friend's deck first. Quite frankly, I didn't even look at what he has for Rich. I just decided to go for Addicted. Because he does have CM3, uh, Sigs, and I popped an Amy and a, a Lois in there as well. And uh, right off the back, I have some Cognacs and stuff to motivate and bodyguard for Sig battles and whatnot. Um, but no combo off the bat. So with Sigs in slot 1... I have to risk it for the biscuit and hope that I get an item. So I have to play it. This isn't managing fuck. This isn't about managing scores or anything like that and trying to get a hundred. It's win or lose. <laughs> and I'm going to lose right off the bat. Hey, thanks for showing up, buddy. Um, that slot one play isn't going to help me, quite frankly. I don't think so. I'm going to try it just to hold off that slot a little bit. And then maybe I can get lucky. Well, I don't have another shit. I was going to say maybe I can get lucky with the slot two in there. Um, but I just... I'm not getting the characters. You can't win like that. So that's an 0 and 1 right there. And we'll try it again. Merrick. So it's going to be a shoplift slot one. So as opposed to going with monkey slot one, I'm going to go with the beefier item in case I need a combo slot two. But since he didn't combo, I'll go ahead and sig addicts up. And then we will move into... A little bit of blocking on slot one and boosting slot two and hopefully I didn't just give him the win with having a slot two hit too hard what 79 hopefully the shield goes to slot two but what are we looking at 20 plus 10 30 40 yeah um, so just barely and that is all I'm going to need to get the win. So one thing, if um, you guys are playing Siege, one thing that you should keep in mind, which I almost messed up there, sometimes when you block, like, say, you're running a craze in slot 1 and they're running a craze in slot 2, it's really important um, if you're going to block slot 2 to either give it with... Uh, some sort of block that's strong enough to um, either take two hits without killing you or just take one hit and die because you could take one hit and die and you take a little bit of damage then you block it again but if you block it and it's left with like one 10 health 15 health you're going to take a shitload of damage the next turn so you want to be really careful um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to outrun the slot one 
not sure how this is going to work. I'm going to bodyguard myself a little bit to help out. And I feel like I should be good to go. Um, at this point, there's not a whole lot of fear of slot 3. And I'm going to kill the slot 2. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure... Or I'm going to kill the slot 1. So I'm going to make sure my slot 2 is cool. And then I'll come back to slot 3. Because I could take that damage, not a problem. And if you're playing Addicted, uh, and you're playing like... Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what you're playing with. Um, unless you're playing Space Honey, that comes with the built-in bodyguard. Uh, bodyguards on the side are, can be really, really useful. Um, heals on the side, motivates, anything that could give you that one up, say if you're Sig versus Sig or something. Um, it's like for example here, I am going to be Craze versus Craze, right? I need something to help me win that match. So we have a couple options here. I gotta motivate right here, then I could combo and try to run for slot two. I got a bodyguard here and I could combo run for slot two. I got a heal and a cripple. I really think my best option here is going to be Cognac. Because I might get a cripple over there. I'm going to get 14 damage that I'm stopping. Out of that 34, I'm going to motivate it up. And I'm going to rely on slot 1 winning the match for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in. And now I'm going to go ahead and pop in this item in case I need to run away. On slot 4, I have a heal there. Um, which now we're going to be fine with just one. So there is all about... Fuck the other slots. They're not going to be able to do anything in those slot 2 or 3 that's going to win the match before slot 1. So either they're going to win slot 1 or I'm going to win slot 1. I want to make sure that I win slot 1. So um, I do have like some monkeys in here just to get a really high attack to go first. But otherwise you're going to see a lot of stuff that's just basically trying to help my slot 1 win. So... They've got a cripple in that slot one, and I really don't give a fuck. I'm going to go right through it. I'm going to have a little bit of my uh, craze stopped at first, but I'm going to I'm gonna gas right through. And uh, then I'm going to try to get that slot one to win the match. So uh, I'm feeling okay about it right now. Because what's going to happen is my slot uh, 2 is going to die, right? And then I'm going to want to help out my slot 1 again. Um, so there's a couple ways to do that. Um, what I'm personally going to do right now is play not this human horn. Because I might need it. Because it'll hold off slot 2 longer. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, so... This is going to fucking feed slot 2. This, at least I got three heals in there. It's not the beefiest. I think I'll just kind of hold off slot 3 with my beefiest card. That's not... Oh. So, this is problematic. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. I did my math wrong. And uh, this fucker survived with 4. I think... Good old Ricky saying his ass. Um, so now that I have 4 HP, I'm gonna take 75 damage and look what I got here 71 health. That's a bad, bad situation. Um, so, unless. Oh no, I had the 15 shield, so I'm actually gonna be minus 19. I will survive. Um, so what I'm going to do is play something on the outside. I still want my beefiest card for slot 2 here. Just in case, which it doesn't matter because they comboed instead of blocking, so I'm going to win. Pretty fucking close. Um, if I didn't have that extra shield on that PC, I'd have been fucked. If that was like Cognac, I would have been hoping that my cripple went into slot 2. Uh, and then it would have been, what, a 1 out of 3 chance that I lost? Or that I won, 2 out of 3 chance that I lose. Not great. So, I like starting with Monkey, just in case I have a battle. And, uh, that's not what I wanted. 
I don't want to fuck around with that. I'm going to go straight to slot two. Combo slot two, and I'll come back to slot one and try to block it. Now, worst case scenario just happened. Slot one is sitting there with nine health. Uh, that fucking sucks, right? But we're still going to go balls deep on slot two here. And we'll come back and we'll block slot one. And motivate slot two. So if you are playing something, you pop in an item, and say something like Shoplifter comes and you have Amy and Hank or Peggy or something out there, don't feel obligated. Just rush your ass to the next slot. Now you, you can't keep doing that. You can't push back to slot three or something. You're going to lose. Um, but you can push back to slot two. Uh, you want to keep in mind that they do have a delay on slot one. It was really helpful. Now we have a couple of options here. I'm going to go for this bad boy because he'll survive and he'll motivate. And I was hoping to combo it. So honestly, I just made a horrible choice. Um, I made a horrible choice, but I think it's going to be okay because I'm strong enough in the first slot. But um, I should have taken something that died just so that way I wouldn't be... Oh no, it's not going to be okay. Slot 2 is going to beat me. So this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. You want to make sure you do the math and don't leave something that's going to take a hit and not have much health. Because if I would have played something weaker in slot 2, it would have died and then I could have blocked slot 2 again with the full health and that could have died and I would have just shipped away. I could have won that one straight up. That one wasn't an RNG. We can't blame that on Kong. We can't say, oh no, I got unlucky. I personally fucked that match up because I played stupid. Now this one's easy. Nothing to say there. So part of that, uh, one thing you might want to not do while sieging is is speaking to nobody. Like, a, like maybe recording your hits and explaining things and not paying attention. Uh, it's not good for your score. Um, I personally take Siege seriously myself. I, uh, I think Siege is a better criteria of a guild strength than Rumble. Rumble is just like, who spent more that particular month, whereas a Siege is how a team plans together, how a team hits together, how a team plans defenses. It shows a lot more about team intellect. Uh, so I don't really like recording these too much. I don't like fucking up my Siege. And I just fucked that match up. So here, what I'm going to do, I don't want to have to use this and feed a shoplifter. So I'm going to use it now in case they combo and they do. So now that I'm doing this, I'm not feeding that shoplifter in slot one. And I can go for the kill. Which is a bummer. Um, that hijack in slot one might be the end of me. Um, so we have a couple of options here. So the first thing that I'm thinking right now is if I put Cognac, I don't want to make the same mistake that I made last time. Uh, that shoplifter is hitting for 66, his Cognac's at 70 health. I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to leave it at 4 health or something and take a huge hit. This guy's going to get the boost. It's going to be similar. So as... As weird as this might seem, people might not like this, I'm going to peg you. That way, a couple things are going to happen here. One, if they if they combo slot two or slot three, I'm going to win. Because I'm just going to win in slot, slot two. I'll cognac it, I'll boost it up, it'll have that extra 20, it'll be fine. Um, if they block slot two, I'm still fine, I can take the damage in slot three, um, and I can cognac it after. So. I'm going to take the Peggy damage. Perfect, I win. Now I'm going to boost slot 2. So that's the kind of things you should be thinking about. Like the match, that last one that I lost, I wasn't thinking ahead like that. And that's why I lost. I could have won similarly to that match.
Quinja Bajo. Quinja Bajo. I don't really have a whole lot of options on my items. And, uh, pretty straightforward decision. I'm gonna go ahead and just cognac them up. Alright, this can be a pretty straightforward match. Too little, too late. Slot 3. The RNG hooked me up on that one. So, there we go. Um, so I'll go ahead and pop over to my account now. Uh, they're going a little slow. We typically hit pretty fast, but I'm going to try to get in on this American Dad before it's down. Because that's the hardest island, and I do like hitting the hardest. So, hold please. Okay, so, um... Warning ahead, I had to build a deck here. Um, warning ahead, I never used CC Satan before it came up in the, the shop recently. Um, I don't feel like I am a skilled user of CC Satan yet. So go with that. I do like to come out hitting hard with the dove trees. It should be fine. Slot 2 will get the shields, right? Um, Peter Smith is nice, but well, that's just middle ground. Um, so I don't feel like I quite have the feel of CC Satan 100%, so I might make some fuck ups here, so so don't judge me too harshly. Um, I wonder, do I have any CM for like CC? Steve, hmm. I do like having a Steve in there on this, because what Steve brings to the plate is a nice, solid, heal, motivate uh, bodyguard, which could turn the tide of a uh, CC Satan fight. Um, now what I like the most using with it on PC wise, um, is like the Shampong, it's a really nice. Something with like heal, cripple, bodyguard, really nice. I think what I'm gonna do is go with the cognacs, right? Uh, they're out of BGE, sure. But they are a nice support. And I'm just gonna change this real quick, if you guys don't mind, to a 10 10 5. Um, because I think I think I'll be okay protecting a slot two. I'm gonna go with Wong just because it's got a little bit more bodyguard on it, and I want to protect. I want to protect my sweet, sweet CC Satan's. I'm just gonna go with another Wong. Oops. One more wall. And then on top of that, I'm going to change to a little extra bodyguard in case I can't protect him. Oh, that is the wrong guy. Because um, so far these guys have one dodo. I think one Max Jets and the rest CC Satans. I might be off on that, but they did have, I know from what people said, a bit of CC Satan in there. So I might be having some, some battles. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's hope that I get a stand and I don't hate myself. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, Shit. I'm gonna get a heal in, right? 
five heal. That's going to bring him back up and I will not die from, uh, perfect. I will not die. That's important. I'm going to pop in the Steve so I could combo him afterwards to heal him back up. Just to make sure that I control everything. And then we'll just move out for a win. So I wanted to make sure um, I played something with the motivating slot too there. Uh, in case they uh, shielded from the hero on the slot one. Because I was only winning that by one. So if the shield would have hit, then I don't kill that slot one. If the slot one kills me, I lose the match right there. Um, so by putting in that motivate, I didn't want to use the other one. Because I wanted to get in the heal to make sure that my slot one stayed alive. Oh, we got a Franny. Okay. So Opera Franny puts some massive damage on the board. But she is super super squishy um and i have cm3 on her too um it can be nice for like a rumble it's really good for rumble um, but i really don't like using her in siege because one she's squishy and two um the punch it's a really big punch but punches are random and random sucks um like rumble is great because you go first so it's only going to hit slot one you know that but when you go second things get a little uh, there's a little fuckery so we now have a cc satan fight i'm gonna pop this guy in just so that i take a little bit less damage seven less damage when i hit here i don't think that's gonna matter but I'd rather not find out. We'll combo on the outside here. And then we're good to go. Spanky. Okay, so this poses a little bit of a different situation. I don't know if that's a sprawl. So, hmm. If it's not a sprawl, I should CC Satan slot one straight up, right? But if it is a sprawl and I CC Satan slot one, probably gonna die. Probably gonna lose, right? Um, so I'm gonna cognac off the bat. Mmm, looking pretty sprawly. Ah, uh, it's not a complete sprawl, but nonetheless, I think I made the right choice here. Um. So, slot three there. He cannot kill me even if he combos. So I'm gonna go for the combo now. Mm. So this is a tough choice, okay. So let's think about this. Slot two is gonna hit for 56, block two of that down to 44, right? Uh, so the 44 is gonna take it down to, uh, what, 36? So that'll be a 36. The slot one HMH is going to be at only eight off of that right because it's a yeah oh i'm not even thinking about the the shield for ricky but whatever those are both going to be in punch range the stand's going to be in punch range all right i have enough punch some shit's gonna die check it out boom so i didn't have to worry about sprawling out now what I was worried about is what if I played slot 3 and uh, shit doesn't die, right? Then he plays slot 5, which puts me in a situation where I can no longer block slot 5. I don't win the match and then he combos slot 5, I lose. So I want to make sure that wasn't the case. 
um, it ends up not even being close to the case, but nonetheless, uh, it behooved me to be careful. Now, I'm not about to risk a slot one. Um, you certainly can. It's way less risky in Siege than in um, Rumble, in my opinion, to go with a character in there, because you get the boost and everything, but uh, slot one's always slow. I'm not too worried about blocking a slot one, because uh, I don't get the draw. So as long as you get the draw to get, get if you can get slot two down, it's not really a bad draw, right? Like that on face, but it was a fine draw. Now, if I didn't get the item that first draw, if I needed to go like slot three, now we're looking a bad hand. Slot four, even worse, slot five, you certainly lost. Okay, so Benny, he's gonna play a CC Satan. No, Max Jets, I was wrong. All right, so this one's gonna be tough. We gotta kill that guy really quickly here. And I might also die. So let's think about this before we just automatically play a Cognac and go or something. Um, Cognac's not going to help me with the damage or anything. Because what I need to be worrying about is that 27 payback. Um, and 15 here, so he's got an extra 12 damage there. Um, and payback doesn't protect from isn't protected from bodyguard yet like they gave us the the update that they were going to do that but they never did correct so i'm gonna play cognac here um just because i'll do more damage to the hero plus i'm not worried about slot two it's just a whiskey bartender and now i'll back out on the outside and we'll take care of business for the win the same one that we watched before that was like a semi sprawl I was not paying attention to the name I probably should have okay yeah I see what's up so I'm gonna go with the uh... I'm gonna be nearly dead if I do Peter Schmidt all right we'll pop this in or is this a different guy with HMH Ooh. That's brutal. Alright, I'm going to pop in Wong here so I can get another stand. Oh, I can't do it. Uh-oh. Well, guys. Um, okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can still do this, guys. It's just going to take some major luck, right? So if I cognac this up... So this is a tough call. So if I cognac this up, right, uh, a couple things could happen here. The one I'm gonna block, so I want that's great. Um, but if if their punch hits my Wong Casino, I'm dead, right? And they're also gonna hit slot four out because I'm not gonna, I might not kill anything. However, because I have a one in three chance to punch their slot one. However. If I do this, I have two punches, and I might punch that slot one, and if I punch that slot one, I'm actually in a really good position to win, because I have the two shields in. I'm going to go conservative. Let's see what happens, because the shield should still go over here, right? Oh no, it went over there. I forgot it could go on the new card. No, I'm going to lose now. I should not have gone conservative. He has HMHs, of course. He's gonna boost that slot too. Oh my god, I am gonna win. Never mind, that one. That one I did not calculate that if slot two did die, if the punch went there, which it did, and they played slot four, I would be wide open. So, 
many possibilities. Much luck on that one. All right, so we're gonna have a CC Satan fight. Glad I have the high offensive one. We'll pop that right the fuck in, and then we will go ahead and make sure we win here, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is, hmm, take down that gas a little bit. So I don't die, and then move on. And doesn't matter what we do, we'll just throw out Steve for shittles, shits and giddles. All right. So far, so good. So typically in Siege, this is where I crumble, right? Eight and O turns into an eight and two. Ooh, Dodo is not the friend of CC Satan. Um, however, there is one good thing for me right now, which I don't feel like saying because it is a little trick of the trade. So I'll be fine. Oh, he's CC Satan too. I'm just gonna protect my boys, boost them up, and we're good to go. and get our hits in here before AD is dead. All right, Opera Franny has no fucking chance. We're just gonna fuck her up off the bat, boost him up, and we'll combo on the outside if we get a chance. I don't think I will. No, I will not. That's a win. All right, one more for the ace. Quite frankly, I haven't gotten the ace for a long fucking time.